this is Amy. I'm here today to show you a glass um, that I just recently uh, painted. I basically it's my my uh, what do I want to say my sample of a spider web for the Halloween October theme. Anyways, I did the gold part of the actual spider web um, a day or two ago, giving it a chance to dry. And then I just did the spider today on this one. I'm going to show you how I did the spider uh, tonight. Anyways, basically what I did is just use gold metallic paint with a, a cap on it, like this this type of a cap, and just drew it on and then allowed it to dry. And then tonight I'm going to use this cap on the black, uh, a red, and then a white just to kind of give the the spider some color. All right, so just to get started here, I'm going to just pick a section, and you can have your spider go in any direction that you want it to go. Spiders have eight legs, just so that you know. Um, I'm going to do his body, and then I'm going to just put a little spot where it would indicate that it's its head. And this is my rendition of a spider, so bear with me. Try to make it as round as I can and distinguish it between the body and the head. All right, spiders have eight legs, so I'm just going to come out here randomly draw these legs. Not rocket science, doesn't have to be perfect. That one's a little thick. Alright. And if you think it looks odd, just keep adding on to it till you're comfortable with it. It's just a fun gloss. Doesn't have to be anything spectacular. I say if you're into Halloween like a lot of my friends and family are, this is a big time. We've had a Halloween party that we've been doing for Oh goodness, probably 30 some years. He looks a little different than my other one. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is put this red spot in the middle of his back, his or her back, and hopefully my paint won't spread out. I'm just kind of trying to do like an oval little spot here. And keep in mind too with the spiders, no two are going to be the same. You know, you're hand painting them not by any kind of a pattern. You know, they're just, just for fun. Alright. Alright, so after we put the red dot on, the next thing we're going to do is hopefully get this to come out nicely. Um, and put some light up here just to mark his head, his or her head, and then you're basically, you're done. So you have a nice, nice wine glass, festive for Halloween. And I've actually done these with uh, making the spiderweb black too, and, and that's nice. It turns out nice as well. But I thought this time I'm going to change it up and do the spider this actual web in gold just to do something different. Now, as far as baking these, if you want to bake them, I'll have to be honest with you, it's very possible the spider, because of the thickness of the paint, will puff up and then maybe like a balloon when it's deflated go back down and look funny or it could puff up and stay up nicely. I've had it, had it happen both ways. So, I probably on these will not be baking them. I will just keep it, let it air dry and go on with it 
and leave it leave it at that. So there you go, just something simple, quick, easy. Um, again, sorry that I didn't show you how to do the spider web, but I think that's pretty much self-explanatory, really. Um, not not a very difficult thing to do, but thought I'd go ahead and do do this so I could just show you the spider very quickly and, and be done. So again, cheap, easy, going to a Halloween party, take the hostess a set of glasses uh, for them to drink their favorite wine out of. I like these size wine glasses, just to mention that, because basically these are all-purpose wine glasses. They're really not red or white, they're just for any type of wine. And they're just a nice size that they're not too big. And of course you can keep refilling them if you need to. Um, that, of course, is always an option. And uh, again, they're, they're, it's a great size to ship as well. Because I actually want to create these again to go with my hangers. So if I'm shipping a hanger with it, they'll fit nicely in the box with my hangers. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Just something quick and easy. And have a good evening. Thanks for stopping by. And let me know if you have any questions.